Sports was pretty much uh, my life whenever I was growing up. I was into baseball and basketball a little bit, but whenever I hit football, it was like a high. Friday night, whenever I went out on the field, it was dark out, all the fans, everybody out there. It was amazing, the feeling that you get, the adrenaline. Whenever I got away from the football field and the school, the partying and stuff, it just, it took over. I dropped out of high school and then everything got real bad. The spiral ends on a March night in 2007. Miller steals a car during a drunken binge, is arrested and sentenced to four years for burglary. Now inside, he's thrown himself into the life of a convict, gambling and making money by any means possible. If you just stand in the window pretty much to where they can't see in, we'd be all right. This is contraband. This is uh, it's high contraband. Uh, you could be taken to the hole for this. This would be the uh, penitentiary George Foreman grew. There's an iron in every block. We either sneak them, steal them, whatever we have to do, pay somebody else to get them. Whenever you plug it in, it, it gets hot to where you can grill stuff. Every four sandwiches I make is worth a coffee. It takes very little money to be able to make it, just some time. It's put a lot of food in my mouth. It's put a lot of money in my box. There's probably $120 worth of these. In here, all you have is the Kool-Aids, the chips, the cookies, the Debbies, and everything else. The more money and the more, more everything you have, it makes it a lot easier. By choosing gambling and hustling, Miller's put himself on a dangerous path. He's two years into his sentence, and getting out is drawing closer. A reality that means breaking free of the temptations of prison life. 